Okay. Yeah. So we're off, right? If you, you know, if you're, if you're, what do you think about that number? Um, this is actually kind of surprising. I honestly thought it would be more black people because they show more black people getting like, uh -huh. I don't know, they like make it seem like black people are always getting like killed by the cops more than It's as hot. That's all I see in media, like on Twitter. I only seen one video of a white guy getting shot like seven times. But that, was, that was just like a couple of days ago, apart from that. Uh huh. What would no, you yeah, say? I find that kind of surprising too, but like I agree. Like I see more media like showing black people getting killed by police than white people. So it's probably just like in my mind, since I see it more, then it happens more. Uh huh. Mm hmm. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out statistics on cop on black crime. Let's go right into today's video. All right, here we go. Let's talk about Black Lives Matter. So this guy started it, and here's what he said. Read that. It oppresses black people. It's bigger than football, oppresses black people. And we're talking about violence. This initially emerged as a result of violence against black people, killing black people, okay? Go to the next slide. What's it take? This, hap this is from just last week in St. Louis. Protests that arose as a result of the, 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 the plea of police killing a young black man. Who was running from them and they were driving away from them and where all sorts of things happened, but the police was, the police officer got off. And so people went out into the street. And so the question is, what's it take to get people out into the street? Um, I think it takes like, I don't know, just killing like when they realize like their own people or their own kind is getting shot or getting killed or being oppressed by the cops, that's when it just takes them like, this is just it, like I have to protest. I have mm. to protest, it's, yes. it's done. Yeah. Something happens, something I see, it's just it's There's a trigger. done, and I'm, I'm out, I'm mm -hmm. in the streets. So let's look at the data, because I see signs like this, I please, police must stop shooting us. It's a genocide. I was gonna put a sign up and I didn't take it down. Someone had a sign that said, it's a genocide of black people. Mm -hmm. right? Genocide of black people, okay? So we're going to look at the data here. Go to the next one. People, how, people were killed by the police in 2016. How many people were killed by the police in 2016? What do you think? I don't want to guess because I got it so wrong last time. No, that's okay. No, <laughs> guess, guess, guess. That's what this is about. I'm going to say 1,000. Um, this is all people. It's all people? All people. Wow. I think 1,000 too. What do you all think? What do you think? Come up with a number. Say it to the person next to you. you I would say 500. Dude, what do you think? 500? Yeah. What do you think, bro? What's that? Two, three hundred? What do you think? How much? All right, here we go. 2016, 963. Okay? You both well. nailed it. You're good. Okay. And love people. who are these people? What's their background? Right? Who are the people that got killed? Of 963, how many do you think were black? Um, I would say about... 600 will be black, 600. and then like the rest will be like maybe Hispanic. 600 like. black, what would you say? Probably like 500. How many were black? Turn to the person next to you, come up with a number. <laughs> what do you say, bro? Like, I know. I to 300? 47 like percent. <laughs> 2016. How many? Uh, I hate being uh, stupid. Uh, no. 500. Uh, 500, me too, 500. Oh, it's 500. Dude, how many? 500 or 400? 
All right, you ready? Next one. Okay, so here we go. Oh. What? Oh, I'm surprised. Okay. Yeah. So we're off, right? If you, you know, if you're, if you're, what do you think about that number? Um, this is actually kind of surprising. I honestly thought it would be more black people because they show more black people getting like. Uh -huh. kind of, they like make it seem like black people are always getting like. Killed by the cops more than. It's as high. That's all I see. In media like on Twitter. I only seen one video of a white guy getting shot like seven times. But that was that was just like a couple of days ago. Before I forgot. Uh huh. What would no, you yeah, say? I find that kind of surprising too. But like I agree. Like I see more media. Like showing black, black people, people being killed, killed at least than white people. So it's probably just like in my mind, since I see it more, that it happens more. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, so go to the next one. So here's U.S. population by ancestry. Okay. So here we are, 63 right now, in mid 2016, 63% white, 17% Hispanic, Latin. You see the numbers, right? So let's break this down and what we're talking about. Next slide. So here's the likelihood of being killed by the police. This is not, you know, if you're doing illegal activity, this is just breaking it down. So you have well, one in 250,000 for black people. White people, clearly you're less likely to be killed if you're white. And is, are those numbers large? Are those numbers large to you? Yeah. They are? What were you, like, is one in 250,000, is that high? No. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I don't. I don't really know. <laughs> it, it's a lot. Like that ratio is a lot different than the rest. Which you is, can. Okay, hang on. Like, <laughs> okay, why don't you answer it in the same way that you answered the other question? It depends. Yeah, I asked you the same question. Is I know, that high? I know. I know. Yeah. No. It. It's not high, but it still does depend on the. The situation. I don't know what I'm trying to say. No, 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 hang on. I'll help you, though. No, I'm not trying to trap you, by no, the no, way. No, okay. The same answer flies yeah. here. Because it, it just depends. It's hot. It's still one out of 250,000 is still high. Yeah. One out Very of 250 high. million is high. If you're that one person and if that's your family, like if that's someone in your family, it doesn't matter if it's one out of 250 million. It matters. If, you're, if, it's your, if your father is the only police officer that's hurt in the line of duty in all of the next 10 years, that's still too high. It's still unacceptable to you, right? What do you think about the number, one in 250,000? Um, I actually think that's, I don't know. I think that's pretty high, just because it's like a person, no matter like every life matters. So like, I think one out of 250,000 is like, I don't know, I honestly don't know. Okay, but listen, can you, can I throw something at you now? Yeah. Okay, we haven't talked about what these people were doing, what people were doing who were killed by the police, right? So sure. if I'm a criminal and I'm trying to shoot her father, yeah. and then her father's partner, somebody shoots me, yeah. then that's not a high number. That one in 250,000, I was trying to kill somebody and I got shot in the process. So that's not inherently a problem. It's either I kill this innocent person, like if I'm going to try to kill you, mm -hmm. let's say, right? And the, somebody shoots me, yeah. you're like, thank God you shoot that, shot yeah. that knucklehead, right? Yeah. So right now, these numbers don't really mean a lot. Are we cool? They don't really <laughs> mean a lot because we don't know what they are. So we can say, well, yeah, look, it's one in 250. Well, clearly, black people are more likely to get killed. Well, maybe black people are doing more things to provoke the police. So, like, we don't know that. We really don't know yet. So we got to go further. You see, like, you got to keep going further. Are you, are you there? Are you following me? Yeah. I okay. You. All right, man. Are we cool? Got it? This is a thinking class right now. I'm walking you through some thinking. Okay, go to the next one. So 233 black people were killed by the police in 2016 out of a population of 39 million. Okay. How would you answer that young man's question? Am I next? How would you answer his question? You, you. Um, I would honestly say yes, because I just feel like, 
I don't know. Like, I feel like it's harder being a black male. No, but what do you mean? Like, he, it, he's saying, am I, am I next? Yeah. Am I next? You're saying, yes, you are next? I mean, like, not like, I mean, like, he better watch out the things he does. Okay, because, got it. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out. Yeah, just You're, watch out because, like, he's kind of like a target, you know? His appearance, you know, he looks like a typical black male, so. Okay, so yeah. if he's holding a sign and then I'm holding the sign, or, like, I don't know somebody else who looks more like him a white guy and a d dude that dude over there who looks like a hippie right in the front row if that dude's holding a sign you're gonna say yeah this guy you should watch your back more than that guy yeah that's my opinion okay no that's cool yeah what would you say I I think that opinion does make sense like I agree with the like watch your back thing but also like watch the situations you get yourself into as well you know what I, like Mm -hmm. If you're in a more dangerous situation, then more can go wrong than if you're not. But I do agree that, like, if a white guy was holding that sign, it would be more likely for the black guy to Got have you. to be more no, in danger one? of getting hurt than the white guy. Okay. All right, let's go one more. Are we cool? Are, is everyone following here? Are we good? Okay, we're going to go one more. Ready? So how many of the 963 people were unarmed? This is what we're talking about here, right? Remember the story? It's like, if, I'm, if I got a gun to the, to, to the two of you, right, like I have a gun to your heads, that's very different than if I'm just like walking up next to you or behind you and somebody sees me and shoots me because they think I'm going to do harm to you, right? It's like very different. If I have a weapon, if I don't have, if I say, hey, I'm going to kill these two people and I'm standing here and I have no weapon on me, I have nothing, and the police shoot me anyway, it's very different than if I'm standing here with a knife saying I'm going to kill mm. these two people. Okay, are we good with that? So how many of the 963 people were unarmed? How many do you think, they, how many do you think were unarmed? Of the 963? Let me see. What do you think? 200. Unarmed. unarmed. 963. We're talking white people. How many do you all think? Point, turn to the person next to you. What do you think? How many of the 963 were unarmed? Okay, here we go. Go to the next slide. So here are the numbers. This was the most comprehensive analysis of the data done by a research team at the Washington Post. Okay. It's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty accurate. So 69 unknown but unknown enough that they didn't throw them in the unarmed category. So they were, you assume that their, the likelihood of being unarmed is, is equal percentage-wise, ratio-wise to the other. This, these are really in, high numbers. You know, and in a vehicle, can we be clear about a vehicle? That's a vehicle trying to run over police. Toy guns. A lot of those people, of course, were committing suicide in all likelihood, because that seems to be a form. What do you think about that number? Hang on, can I ask you first? What do you think about that number? You said yeah. 600. I said 550. 500, and you said 400, we're unarmed. You said 500, we're unarmed. What do you think about that number? Um, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of like shocked. I honestly thought like, I'm not saying like, the media, like, I don't know, they just made it seem like, you know, the guy was innocent, you know, he was just trying to go about his way. But I don't know, like, this is, I don't know the numbers they took or the guys they took it from or whatever. But I just think it's just crazy how five, 517 had a gun. I would think it would be less than that. Yeah, okay. Same with yeah, so you certainly think it would be more. Way Especially less given than what that. you just said about looking at your Twitter feed and yeah. Facebook and social media and and so on, I right? I mean, well, like, we know, like, the media just ex exaggerates everything, so I guess not to pay attention to it. What do you think about the number? I'm actually pretty surprised by it, too, but when I think about it more, I guess, like, since the media does portray more of those stories where the person is unarmed, so, again, like, it makes me think that there are more cases of unarmed things, but clearly there's not. So, 22 out of 233 black people who police killed in 2016 were unarmed. 22 out of 233. 
Okay? So now the question is, so that means you have a 0.6 chance in a million. 0.6 chance. About half of 1% in a million. Of being unarmed, black skin, and killed by the police. So now, when you answer that guy's question, am I next? What's your, what would be your answer to that question? Um, 22 out of 233 black people, I think that's a lot. Go with the so, bottom one. But the bottom? 0.6 out of a million. If he stays on arm, you say, bro, listen, in spite of the, how you're dressed, in spite of who you are, if you, or if you remain unarmed, Right? That's yeah. the likelihood of you being killed by the police. I think it's a lot because even 0.1 would be a lot to me. So it goes back to what, yeah. to what Brianna said. Mm -hmm. Brianna, right? Brenna. Brenna? Yeah. What Brenna said. It's like it's still to that one family. It matters. Okay. And so what I'm going to say to the two of you is, look, is the glass half full or is the glass half empty? It's like it just depends. We can argue that that's a high number, we can argue that's a low number. We can argue it's exaggerated, we can argue like, no man, it's not exaggerated, it's still really high. Like, what is it? You can make the argument in lots of different directions. But what I want to say is, look, if we're going to make the arguments, and if we're going to get involved in protests, like, can you go to the next slide, bro? No, hang on, go to one more. That, if you're going to protest like that, but this whole thing is based on police violence against black and brown people. So if you're going to protest, really step out in this way, you got to know what you're protesting. Mm. It's really important to understand what it is. You know what I mean? Is it like 600 unarmed people or is it, hang on, 42 or 48 or like what, what, what are we looking at here? Like... Is it a genocide? So when I see someone holding a sign up that says, stop the genocide of black people at a protest, and I'm saying, go back. Can you go back two slides? I wouldn't call that a genocide. There's a lot happening here, but that's not what I would call it. And so for me, as someone who's talking about race relations, who sees these things from lots of perspective, it's really important that we know what we're talking about so that we can be confident and have realistic and good conversations. Because I agree with you. I mean, yeah, it's still high. And yet, it's not what most people think. If I, if I took a microphone, if I went to that protest in St. Louis last week and I walked around with the microphone and I started asking people, hey man, how many people was it last year? How many people? And each one of those, and even the people who are armed, it doesn't matter. It's a life, Right. But if I start asking that question, people are going to give me these really, really high answers. I'm sure 5,000, 8,000, I have no idea. It's like, no, man, that's not bringing us where we need to go. Okay, this was actually insightful and a beautiful, beautiful lecture. I admire it a lot. Um, I'm shocked, <laughs> I won't lie. Um, the media portray a lot of things to us. A lot of times they make um, the black people look like they are unarmed or they are trying to get something from the car or from somewhere. Then they, were, they are being shot by the cops. And seeing this right now and the charts that he displayed out, the numbers is different from what I imagined. I never for once imagined that the number would be that high. 517 black people were killed in 2016 that were armed out of a number of 963 that were killed. That's, that, that is a lot. I think how many was with an instrument, I think was it 60 something or 20 something was with other instruments. I think 40 something was with a knife. That's, that is a lot. 517 were, were killed because they were with a gun. That number is massive, guys. It's massive, and what the media portray to us is totally different from the data that this man gave us. From this letter, let me call him is a letter that he gave us, and I am surprised. The likelihood of a white person to be killed in America is way higher. 
than a black person. Bro, it's 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 just it's just surprising, guys. It's just surprising, and there's I don't know if we should stop watching the media, if we should stop watching the news, or reading news, reading the blogs, because it's what we see, we believe. You understand? So when we see media portray something to us, we'll be like, okay, that might be true, and we hear stories from other people coming up to talk about the same scenarios. But uh, the police are dangerous. The cops are, are really, really dangerous. Are killing black people for no reason. Then everyone comes out to the poster, like um, "Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter," and that's true. I keep on saying this every time. Everyone lives matter outside the black people, but the way they portray it to us, like the black people are being killed more. That's how. That is a narrative we all have. That black people are being killed more in America than the whites, than the Hispanic. Or Latinos, the black people are being killed more. So seeing this data right here, I am I am shocked. I won't lie, it's surprising. <laughs> I'm really surprised. Um, I feel like next time we are all to, we all to who we protest, we have to know the background check carefully, and know the data. Um, if, even if it's twenty black people that was killed unharmed, that's still a large number. The reason why I would say so is because. Killing someone who is unarmed is dangerous. And if it was to be your family, someone from your family that such incidents happen to, you will be angry and pissed that why why did they shoot the person unarmed? Why why would they kill him whereas he or she is unarmed? So you will be you'll be pissed, you'll be angry, and such narrative you spread such story to a lot of people that this is the incidents that happened. By doing that it leads to massive protest. Every single person, as long as it's a human being, your life matter. Either being armed or unarmed, your life still matter. But seeing the data here, I'm really shocked. I am I am surprised. I'm surprised. I know you guys too are surprised and the media keeps on messing around that with our mind, like with our mindset. Like if you see it, you know that the media is playing around with us. It's playing around with us. This is surprising. I love to watch a lot of this man's lectures. It's it's eye opening for me, guys. This is just 2016. We've not gone to 2017, 18, 19, 20, <laughs> even from 2010 up to 16. Because the narrative we see on media is different from what we are seeing from the data. I know the data is not fully accurate, but I know it's near accurate. It's, it's close. It's very near to accurate. This was amazing to watch this video. Tell me your feedback. What do you think about this video? Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch. In my bed, I got scales on